Hello everyone, uh, I'm doing another tech video. This video is actually on a pretty simple tech. Um, doesn't really have an official name, but I'm just going to call it platform buffering. Um, it's something that I think the majority of decently experienced players know about, but I don't think everyone fully understands it, so I wanted to make this video to hopefully um, let everyone know about all the different ways you can use it. So to start off with the basics, if you didn't know, um, in Duck Game, in order to drop through a platform like this, ones where you can go up through the middle and then you stand on top of it, um, you have to hold down and then hit jump. This isn't super intuitive because you'd think that when you jump or when you press jump you go up. Um, but on a platform or on a box or anything that you can um, jump on top of from the bottom, you can do this. Um, but there's a key feature, I guess there's a couple key features that are important to know about this. The first one is that it won't let you fall through a platform while you're moving. So if I if I start crouching or if I'm sliding on top of a platform, it won't work. But if I slide and then I wait till I'm stopped and then I hit jump, it'll let me through. But it won't work when you're crouching or when you're, um, sorry, when you're moving. Sometimes this can kind of mess you up, especially if you're sliding and you want to go down. Um, but that's where, the, where this tech will come into play. The other important thing to know is that um, you can buffer falling through a platform ahead of the time. This is this is what this tech is, but there's a lot of ways that you can use it. So all you have to do is in the air before you reach the platform, you want to be crouching and then you want to hit jump at some point. Um, you can actually just spam jump and it'll be super easy. The window is very big, but if you hit jump anywhere, like even if I hit jump up above the, the platform, like here, it'll still let me through because the game will remember that you hit jump. Um, now, you'll notice that I can do this even while I'm moving horizontally. And this is important because if I wanted to run this way and fall through the platform, I have to jump first and then jump through. I can't just go here and then slide and jump. I have to jump, slide, and then hit jump in midair. Um, you can use this also to fall through like a whole bunch of platforms at once without slowing down. Again, you just, while you're in the air, you're crouching and you press jump before you hit the platform and you'll fall through it. So the examples on specific levels are where this tech really comes into play because um, simply knowing that you can um, hit jump in order while, um, while moving in order to fall through a platform is is good and all like you can use it here on a lot of maps um if you're running away from someone and you need to get down here you'll definitely want to use this but in specific spots especially up here on top of the map where you spawn um it's really important to know that you can use as too high ceiling like this um to do a, a platform buffer basically what you want to do is um, you jump and then I mean you're basically running and then you spam the jump button But you'll do it even faster if you jump and hit your, your head on the ceiling while you're still tall So like you'll notice if I slide I can do it and I can get down here pretty fast But if I if I hit my head while I'm um, Standing up I'll start going downwards quicker. It's just a small optimization But this is especially useful in this map here space 15 um, when you get the top spawn because normally you have either the option of going left or you can go and throw the sword at the other person over there but then the map is usually a tie because the other person will also throw the sword at you so what you can do is you can um, you can avoid all that by doing a platform buffer here and either going for this sniper or going backwards for the sword and you can even continue um, down here and get the armor and maybe then go for either the right sword or the left sword um, but really it's, you'll have, there's so many examples of what places you can use platform buffering that you'll have to find them yourself. Um, I'll just cover a few more examples. So in this map, Office 06, if you're a more experienced player, you'll definitely know about it here. Um, but if you're not, maybe this is the first time you're seeing this tech, this is a really important spot to know where, how to use it. Um, if you're trying to descend down this this like corridor here, this vertical tunnel with all the platforms that you jump up. Um, it can be quite difficult because there's only a small gap in the middle that to fall through. So if you don't position yourself just right in the center, um, you won't fall all the way down. 
But if you do, if you platform buffer, like let's say I'm just trying to go over here, I can just crouch and then hit space a whole bunch of times, or not space, but jump. Um, and then it'll just go all the way down with almost no effort, um, which is much easier than trying to like aim for the middle and maybe you miss, especially if you're, you have a gun and you're shooting, it's much harder. But with just spamming jump and crouching, you can go all the way down. Another um, important note I can showcase here is that this works with any map that has l tall trees. There's lots of maps that have tall trees, but you can platform buffer all the way to the bottom of them, and it's super easy. One last very advanced application for platform buffering is that you can platform buffer nubs. Um, nubs are the platforms that automatically appear on the sides of all blocks. Um, that you can stand on so that if you run up against a block, you won't just fall down. Um, like on the cave blocks here, these don't have nubs, so if I, run up, if I run up against them and I don't move myself onto the platform, I'll just fall back down. But on industrial blocks and all blocks in the game, except you know, very small set of occasions, um, you'll stay on top. Um, it's just a nice game design feature. But if for some reason... Um, Let's say you're chasing after someone and you have a gun, but they don't. Um, you can maybe use this um, this knowledge of platform buffering the nubs to gain a small edge on them that you can use to catch up before they get to another gun or something. Um, I would really only recommend it if you're a very advanced player and you probably already knew about this in the first place, but um, so maybe something to keep in mind. Sometimes just knowing about it and mentally thinking about it helps plan out some circumstances you could use it in. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, until next time, see ya.